What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be joined by my lovely fiance and we will be installing this badass carbon fiber TSL style trunk clip spoiler. The reason I went with carbon fiber is I do not have to worry about color matching. So let's get right to it. So we just pulled up to Home Depot. We are in need of some double-sided tape because my trunk lip did not come with it. So that is what we're doing here. So here is the carbon fiber. <laughs> Got it. There it is. Okay, so it's a different day now. I ended up installing the spoiler off camera as I did run into some fitment issues as you guys saw. Um, length of it is pretty good as you guys can see from there to there it is pretty good but the ends of it like here they kind of stick upward so there's how that side looks and there is this side so what I plan on doing is trimming the center area here on top and on the bottom here. This is give the center of the spoiler some room to go more down. And that way it'll cover up that area. And it'll sit a lot more flush. Let me know what you guys think of it. And if you guys have any tips on how I should mount it a bit better. Also, I will be coming out with a video of all the mods I've done to it. Also, I did order a diffuser. So that will be going in pretty soon once that comes in. So that's about it for this part. I will catch you guys in the next one. For this part of the video, I wanted to quickly run through how I edit my thumbnails, as a lot of you have requested. So while I edit here, I wanted to also go over some questions that you guys submitted on Instagram as well as on YouTube. So in here, I do some quick adjustments here in camera raw just to give the photo some pop and some clarity here so first question here is favorite car you've owned so far I think I would have to say maybe this m3 or my very first m3 if some of you guys remember it um, something about them and something about this black m3 I've always wanted a all-black BMW so this is it so now back to the editing here. I usually like to make a selection around my subjects just to bring some more attention to them. So next question. I am a college student looking to get an M3. I have a 325XI now. Any tips on where to look? Um, I would say anywhere like Craigslist and OfferUp is just fine. Just make sure to do all the research before actually purchasing one of these as it is an M3 and yeah, just leave it there. <laughs> so here in Refine Edge, we are adjusting the radius to get rid of the harsh edging. You can mess around here with the settings and if we look at the before and after, you can see how it was very harsh before and after it just makes it a lot cleaner. 
and depending on your image you can also add in some feathers next what I do is make a copy layer of the selection that we just did and we want to go to gradient tool and just make a white gradient from the top to the bottom of the image like so and then here's some before and afters and what I'm gonna do now is go in and adjust the opacity or the fill and I'm also going to go in here and adjust the hair as I did not make a good selection around there and that's looking pretty good so far next question says did you find the M3 in Washington yep in Everett Washington next says how many M3's have you owned this would have to be my third one first was the white one the silver one and now this one here I've created a new adjustment layer of hue and saturation and then here I bring the saturation pretty low but not all the way to still leave some color in there I then go in and use the paintbrush tool to mask out the areas that I do want color usually those are some vibrant colors that bring some attention to the subject while I do that I will go through a few more questions one says how much have you spent in total for all the mods um, I'd probably say anywhere from two to three thousand probably I'm not even sure to be honest I'd have to actually look through all that I've done to it but but my guess is anywhere from two to three probably next question is when are you buying an M4 honestly I prefer the M3 the F80 M3 over the M4 just something about it that would be nice also same user asks what's the fastest you've ever gone in your M3 how long are you gonna keep the E46 M3 what's next these are all some good questions um, I've had ups and downs with the E46 but at the end of the day it's a great car and just driving it is so much fun and it just looks so good and as for the second part of that question um, I actually don't even know what's next currently just looking forward to what car my fiance will be getting and the things that we'll be doing to her car so yeah that's pretty exciting <laughs> so back in the editing here I am just gonna make the license plate a bit darker just so that it does not attract too much attention to it I then make a merged copy of the entire photo and go back to camera raw filter and in here we add some more clarity to bring out some details now that we've got the photo looking like this and you can also add in some exposure and there we have it it's looking pretty good so far next I go in and remove some areas that I don't want so much clarity in and while I do that let's go back to some questions here I know you love the E46 platform but what will be your next BMW for myself I mean lately I have been looking at E30s just something about them they're so classic and it would be nice to own the E46 and an E30 as well so that would be pretty cool next question is is E46 your favorite 3 series gen that is a pretty hard question but I think I'd have to choose the F series or the new ones I think it's the G series I'm not sure on that but it's the new ones that are coming out here I am creating the thumbnail text I use the Gotham fonts and as you guys know I mainly use the light blue dark blue and red in my colors as well as some black in the fonts so as I do that we can go back to some more questions and we'll just speed through here when are you putting BBS's on and can we get him a, a shout out to 1k <laughs> Um, there's only a few BBS's that I like and I'm currently happy with the wheels I have on although it could use a more aggressive offset but they're all right for now next question says what sound system are you using and if you have an aftermarket can you make a video about it I just have the Harman Kardon system in my M3 so 
That's that. Next, what coilovers are you running? I am currently on H&Rs, but they are very harsh, so I might be switching to KWs or maybe air suspension in later future. Next question, if you had 10K, what upgrades would you do to your BMW? That's a pretty easy one. I think I would supercharge it and install air suspension. That'd be pretty nice. And the ending here, I'm just moving the text around, trying to see what looks better. And then the next step is we add the three famous colors. And there we have it. I mean, I would click on that video if I had that thumbnail. And sometimes I will go in and add some layer styles, maybe a shadow or a stroke. It just depends on the image that you have. Next question is asking if I'm a videographer. And another one that says, what do you do for a living? And to answer those two, I'm actually a video, photo, and graphic designer. And I also do flooring with my dad. So that's that. And I enjoy all of those very, very much. Next question says, what made you get into BMW? And another one that says, how did you come up buying M3 or BMW in general? Much love, bro. Um, for me, BMW is just something that has been running in the family. Uh, my brothers had one a few before I finally got one. My first car actually was a 325 Ci to which I actually did the black tower headlights with the halos in them. And just the BMW community is just so awesome. And yeah, just kind of stuck out compared to other cars. So that's why we're here. For this part here, I wanted to select the green on this jacket here and maybe change it to a light blue or a dark blue. Also, if you're feeling a bit extra, what you can do is actually select around your main subject which in my case is this spoiler and we can give it a outer glow and there we have it <laughs> this looks like something you see on trending page a lot where an object is glowing so if that's the look you're going for that's how you do it also if you're feeling pretty extra but just not that extra what you can actually do is look up red arrows that really helps the thumbnails. So I'm going to read a couple more questions as this video is coming to an end. One here that says next mod on the E46. I'm thinking it might just be window tint. It is pretty bright in there so some window tint would be very nice. And it will just black out the car even more so that's cool. And another question that says engine mods. And as of right now there is zero mods to the engine. But hopefully that's not for long. And the final question that we'll include in here says, Hello, love what you do. Keep up the work. Your edits are insane. Now the question, why did you sell BMW E90? Um, I just had a different plan for my build and what I wanted to do with my next car. So it was just time that I let the 335 go. And I've just been loving the M life ever since. But I gotta admit, I do miss the power on that 335. That thing was moving. So lastly, I will zoom in to the photo or the subject and I will remove any dirt or imperfections just to kind of make it look better. And then I decided to add some sharpness to the spoiler to give it some more detail. And there we have it. That is it. And here is some before and afters of the final thumbnail compared to when we first started and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick run through of how I edit my thumbnails and I had fun answering all these questions so thank you guys for sticking around and thank you all for 10,000 subscribers 2019 let's go